As we saw in Haiti, where 200,000 died, 300,000 people were injured, and to a lesser extent in Grenada, immediate medical care was needed after the disasters to avoid thousands of needless deaths and reduce the suffering of the injured and bereaved. My own view is that the Ministry of Health has a plan and is working to that particular plan in the event of a mass casualty situation. The state has established a disaster command center here in Mount Hope. They have a mass casualty plan. I believe this unit is the only health disaster command center in the English-speaking Caribbean, totally devoted to disaster preparedness and response for the health sector. Do we have mobile units going to the aid of the injured, which are expected to be in the thousands? Well, I don't know if you call them a mobile unit. They are advanced medical posts which try as patients and then dispatches them, dispatch them to wherever they need to be treated. Is the command center prepared? How many injured can our hospitals handle in the event of a disaster? I can't give you an absolute number. Our hospitals function near to near capacity already as it is. I would say less than a hundred critically injured patients. Um, so, and if you send other people home and you make room, maybe it could go up to more. Of course, our plans would also include the private sector. So maybe we can deal some, maybe up to 200. We don't have enough nurses now. The nurses we have will have to work very hard and that they will bring in nurses. There are mechanisms to bring in a few nurses. Maybe you'll get more doctors than nurses. Maybe doctors may have to do the same work. Will we end up in a situation like Haiti's, where the dead lay unidentified on the streets for days and were eventually buried in mass graves? How many dead bodies can Trinidad and Tobago cope with? Well, between the hospitals and things like it, places like the Forensic Science Center and, um, and the, private, um, the private undertakers, it's, I would say we could, why do you want numbers? <laughs> I would say it's maybe about 200 and so. It's not many. Can our population feel secure in the knowledge that the state is prepared for a disaster? You would have to ask your engineers, how will your building stand up? How will our building stand up? I don't know. He said 30,000 people will die or need, or need care. I don't think the medical fraternity could deal with 30,000 critically injured people at one time. In a disaster situation, people do die, unfortunately. Based on my investigations, our health services are simply not prepared to deal with any large-scale disasters. So what do we do? The only way out of utter devastation is for each of us to take responsibility for our own lives plan and prepare. We focus on what you can do to be prepared for a Haiti or a Grenada. I'm Ira Mathur with a special report for CNC3 News.